Positive notes here and this is going to help me to teach the class today any questions at the back just put your hand up everyone's free to <laughs> everyone's free to speak their mind everyone can be themselves there'll be no judgment and everyone can help each other so I've made some notes here so all the answers are on these um, notes okay so a lot of guys say to me well how do we beat our porn addiction because it's a difficult thing because you have to face a lot of fears right so this is how you do it this is how you take action i've broken it up so the first thing you do is you take small manageable steps and what i mean by that is instead of thinking oh my god i've got to quit my porn addiction in one day i've got to go out i've got to face my social fears my career all my anxieties no you don't have to do that that's probably not possible to begin with. I mean, anything's possible, but that's gonna be quite difficult. You take one step at a time. Everyone's got their own version of what is scary and what is fearful for them. So make a mental note, write it down on paper, go out, for example, for me, a small step would have been you know, leaving my house, maybe meeting a friend, going to see my family, or saying hello to a stranger, starting a conversation, going to a shop. Something small, which is scary, but something that when you do it, you feel great after. So you have to figure out what that is. The second one is make an agreement with yourself that you can back out anytime you want, anytime the fear gets too overwhelming on a situation, give yourself permission that you can back out. You can, you know, you can retreat back to your comfort zone. There's no shame in getting scared and having to retreat. I've had to retreat so many times in my life which is how i learned to overcome these things and be more courageous and face more fears and to perform to the best of my ability so when you make that agreement what it does is it puts positive pressure on you but it takes the pressure away as you know most men put too much pressure on themselves to quit porn to get a girlfriend and so forth number three you need desire and motivation throughout this whole process two ways in which you can get desire and motivation. The quickest way is what you're doing now. Finding someone who is an excellent, attractive, good motivator, who's got a motivational story, someone that has lived what they're teaching, has overcome things you want to overcome. You don't copy them, you're not trying to be like them, but you are um, practicing one of their characteristics. So when you find a motivator, Eventually what happens is, usually we get inspired, we get motivated, and you get to a point where you get sick and tired of hearing their success, their story, you'll find the motivation within. Once you find that motivation within yourself, Bruce Lee made a great point, he said whatever motivates you. Some people are motivated by anger, by pain, by love, by passion. I would say it's usually two things, we're motivated by fear and love, everyone's got their own interpretation. I've been motivated throughout my life by pain that was put on me by other people and I used that to go out, transform myself and do good things and not enable that pain to make me be like the people that hurt me and so forth. We get onto forgiveness in another video which is important. So what motivates you? Let me know in the box below. Now obviously you're going to be motivated, you want to quit porn but maybe the motivation is to get a relationship, get a girlfriend. For me, when I was 25 really struggling with porn negative uh, thoughts, suicidal thoughts. My motivation was I want to get a girlfriend fall in love. And within that, I wanted to make some money and get a job. So I had the goals, I had the motivation. I knew why I was putting myself through these frightening, challenging social fears, life fears, etc. And I eventually achieved that goal. When I got a girlfriend, I set, got my own career, started making money. The porn addiction just disintegrated naturally. 
Just got some positive things I want to share, some positive words of people. How to become successful, happiness, pain is fuel, positive attitude, hard work, mindset, confidence, changing the way that we view anxiety, not seeing anxiety as a bad, shameful, judging feeling that I'm not good enough. Anxiety is fuel. For every anxiety and fear you face, you'll build more confidence. Faith, hope, purpose, self-discipline, never quit. Great practice for conquering porn addiction and gaining confidence. Public speaking. Now, you may say to yourself, I couldn't do that, I'd be terrified. I was petrified of public speaking. But I did it. I did it many years ago. The first talk I gave, I actually got nervous and panicked. I couldn't speak, but I still showed up. And people appreciated it. I didn't quit when I felt. I failed in that I couldn't do the talk to my best of my ability, but I succeeded in that I had the bottle to go and do it. I went and done another talk the week after. Eventually, I'd done 10 talks. I was a different person. I remember my brother coming to one of my talks and he was in shock. He said, I just can't believe what, what I saw. I said, was it bad? He said, was it bad? It was incredible. It was phenomenal. You blew everyone away. You were so confident. I didn't recognize you. That's the power of practice. Failure equals success. So public speaking is actually a fantastic way to gain social confidence, self-esteem, which will give you the strength to quit porn addiction. Find your passion, or let your passion find you. When you find your passion in life, guys and girls, whatever that is, regardless of what anyone else thinks, it doesn't matter if people think it's silly or they judge it, because sometimes people can be mean. When you find your passion, you'll find the fire in you. That love, that passion for the very thing that you love doing, that will just dismantle the porn addiction. It will rip it to pieces, it will break it, and it will help you. My good old friend here, Jim. I can't even explain to you. I can't articulate how powerful the gym is. I know at the moment there's some restrictions with the lockdown, but you can still work out at home. I've done a lot of videos on YouTube, my 500 push-up challenge. You can go for a walk, you can cycle, you can shadow box, yoga, meditation. When we train in any form of aerobics or fitness, we train the mind. We don't only just train the mind, uh, yeah, we do change the mind, train the mind, Freudian slip. We train the inside, the, the man that we can't see. People can't see on the outside what's going on, but you can feel it. The courage muscle, that muscle out muscles any porn addiction or any negative critical person. So start training. And these are all the ways in which you quit porn. I've got a few more. Right. I've had some negative forces and negative people, which is no surprise to me, telling me that I'm wasting my time, I shouldn't put these videos out, it's never going to help guys. That's not true. It helped me to beat my porn addiction. Many guys have been saying, you're changing my life, keep doing these videos. So I've got a message for any hate, any negative criticism. I reject your opinions. I reject the negative opinions of other people. And I don't take on your beliefs, your criticism. Um, I wish you the best, I have no animosity, I choose not to be hateful towards others, but I'm going to have to say I have to reject your opinions, your beliefs, because you're wrong. So I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no to you telling me to stop doing these videos and I'm going to keep doing them. Right? I've got another message for any hate, any criticism, right? It's very simple, it's one word. It's called positivity. For every negative thing that's said to me, or said to you guys, I go out and I do a positive thing. And I've got the courage to admit, it takes one to know one. I used to be a negative person years ago. I was very jealous, very toxic. I wouldn't have liked to spend time with me. I changed. But you can't force people to change. So if the guys don't want to quit their porn addiction, that's their choice. I haven't got control over that. But many of you do want to quit. Social events, life changing. Find a local social event in your area of like-minded people. And when you find an event where there's like-minded people, you won't have as much social anxiety. Of course, you can have some fear, that's completely normal. But it's so much easier to talk to people and feel comfortable when they like the same things that you like and they've got similar values and they're on a similar journey and so forth. Doesn't mean you can't get along with people 
that and not into self-help because you can, but it's a lot easier, right? So I think we've covered all, all of the um, things. So all these little bits of ingredients, these are all the ingredients to overcome your pornography addiction and you know gain confidence and a lot of these videos are about becoming fearless you know and also like today we've spoken about not allowing the negative opinions of other people well there's three negatives there's the negative opinions of others that a lot of people fear which I'm not afraid to say that I'm I'm not afraid to be afraid of negative criticism but I override it with my own self-esteem my actions and my beliefs and values then there's your own negative inner critic which a lot of people get frightened of and they allow that to talk them into defeat or addiction or not taking action. One of the worst addictions in the world is the addiction to not taking action. So you have to learn to fight the good fight. Like Paolo Coelho said in his book, The Alchemist, I really enjoyed that book. People always ask me, I'm not a big fan of reading books as a replacement for actually taking action, but that was a good book. So that's how you do it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, girls. I really appreciate all the support. The fight goes on. I believe many more of you will beat this addiction. Patience, time, of course, you're gonna make mistakes at time, you're gonna relapse, you don't give up, you keep going. Become fearless, because when you do, your life becomes limitless.